Okay, today we're talking about designing an electric vehicle charger pedestal in Fusion 360. So let's get started. I'm going to open up Fusion 360. We're going to create a sketch on this plane. We're going to start with the base plate. So you finish sketch. I'm going to extrude that base plate up. I want a quarter of an inch thick. Then going to create another sketch on that plate for our mounting holes for the concrete anchors. You'll note over here in line type, I'm using a construction line. And I'm just going to create a grid basically or some center guidelines to help me locate my holes for the concrete anchors. I think I want all four holes to be two inches in each direction from the edge of the plate. I'm going to go ahead and pick the circle and create our circles on that center point and drag out and I turned off that uh, construction line for these circles I'm just trying to find the center point of this plate and I'm going to make our four inch squared tubing post here. So you finish sketch. Now we'll extrude. Using extrude command, we're going to pull all four holes and say cut. And you see it, it cut out those holes for us. Now we're going to extrude our four by four uh, square tubing up to the total height that I want, which is 83 inches, or 83.75 inches, excuse me. There we go. Woo! You can turn off the origin, turn off the sketch, so you can see it better. Now continuing on, I'm going to create a sketch on the front face of this 4x4 four four square tubing. I'm going to create a center line and make a mark at 37 inches up. That's where I want the mounting plate where the electrical vehicle charger is actually going to bolt to this pedestal. finding the center point of that plate. I'm going to drag it out. I want it to be 19 by 22.75 inches. Yep. Finish sketch. We'll extrude that plate out to an eighth of an inch thick. And I want a new body. And there's our first plate. Then we need a identical plate on the other side. And then two narrow side plates. And the side plates will be where the holsters for the cables will dock. So we'll go ahead and make those two little side plates. Again, eighth of an inch thick. We'll extrude both those out. Those need to be four inches.
And then on this face, I'll go ahead and create another sketch and create another plate. sketch. We'll extrude that plate out. Again, eighth of an inch thick. I want it to be a new body. Sometimes Fusion 360 will automatically select join. So you always got to look and make sure if you want a new body that you select new body. I'm creating a bracket on the top of the pedestal now. It need to be 4.375 inches by 7 inches. We'll extrude that 8 inch thick plate. And then I need it to add some additional side plates to that. So we'll turn it upside down. Now you can hide bodies if they're in your way just by clicking on the little icon, the little eye symbol on the left hand side there. And again these plates need to be eighth of an inch thick. We'll extrude those up. Again new body distance of seven inches. Then we'll reshow those bodies that we had uh, hidden just by clicking the eyeball symbol. Once we're done, you need to make one more sketch to add two more pieces of flat bar to this bracket. Finish sketch, extrude those two pieces of flat bar up. New body, yeah, 4.125 inches. Yep, so we'll click that little eyeball. There's a square tubing back, there's a mounting bracket on top. So all this would be mild carbon steel construction welded together. Now we'll insert some concrete anchors. So you go up to insert. I like to use McMaster Cars website. You can drop a CAT file into your drawing. Saves a lot of time. That way you don't have to draw every nut, bolt, screw, washer, etc. Click here, click the file type, insert, there you go. And then we'll place it where we want it. There's our mounting hole. And then we're just simply going to copy this concrete anchor three more times because we need a total of four concrete anchors here. So this will give management a good, clear representation of how this will be mounted to the concrete. So you 
click the little move icon up there, little cross arrow symbol that you see. Click create copy over here on the right and then simply drag the copy over to where you want it. Okay. Just measuring how high those studs stick up. Because what we need to do now is create a base cover to cover up these concrete anchors and to give the pedestal a nice finished look. And save your work as you go. So I'm going to click on create a rectangle but from a center point, the center point will be the center point of this bottom plate. Excuse me, the center point right here on the side of the plate. Because uh, I need to make actually two halves that will get bolted together. So I'll create the first half and extrude it up. Extrude command. New body. And three inches tall. And I'm going to move that body out of the way, off to the side. Now we're going to use the shell command because it needs to be hollow inside and all the walls need to be eighth of an inch thick. So you can see how that works. Type in 0.125, OK. Now I'm going to use the extrude command. Extrude, a cut, and it cuts out that bottom material. So you can start to see the base, the cover coming into fruition. Woo! And I simply copied the first one to make the second one because it's a two piece cover. Now we need to create a sketch on top of these and notch out for the four by four post to go through these. cut command. There you go. Do the same thing on the other side. Extrude cut. And there you go. Last thing I'll need to do is create another sketch on the inside of this base cover and we need to weld on some flat bar tabs that will drive some mounting screws into that will bolt these two sections of cover together. And so that's what I'm working on here is making that little piece of flat bar so it'll be a little mounting tab. I want it to be two inches by one and a half inches. Finish sketch. We'll extrude that out, see how it looks. Want that to be eighth of an inch. Okay. New body. Yep, that looks good. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now I could copy it and move it over, or I could just make another sketch and draw the same thing again. And get two inches by inch and a half. And we'll extrude that out. And there's our other mounting tab. So we'll move all these pieces. Yep, they fit together correctly. I'm 
going to select all four of those pieces and move them together, position them where we want them, centered on our pedestal. And then we just need to move it down so it's even with that mounting plate. And there we go. Last thing we need to do there is to bring in some self-tapping screws. But first, we're going to add some glossy paint to this pedestal. So in the render tab, we'll go down to like a light gray glossy paint. To apply the paint, you just simply select the color you want and drag it over to the object you want to paint. And I think I might even add like a chrome finish to these concrete anchors just to make them pop more on the screen. And again, you just click and drag and let go. And it applies that coating to the object. back to design. There we go. Save. We added paint. Okay. So yeah, it looks, looks pretty much finished. Again, we just need to add those little screws right down here. Go up to insert. I'll go up to insert here in a minute and we'll go back to the McMaster Car website. Click on McMaster Car, type in screws. They got all different kinds of screws. On a quarter 20. Tapping screws. Yep. These would be short ones, 3 8 long on a round head. Again, we'll just click on the file type we want and click download. Yep, that's perfect. We'll place one screw where we want it. And then we'll simply copy it three more times because we need a total of four screws. figure out the best placement. So again, we'll click Create Copy. Didn't quite work. Try again. We'll select the item. Oh, it's selecting by. So select Components because that was brought in as a component. Then click on it to move it and say Create Copy. Now it should work. There we go. And then we'll select both of those, create copy, and drag our two copies over for the other side. And place those where we want them. Right about there. pretty much the finished product. So the electrical vehicle charger will bolt to this plate and the plate was designed so you could bolt two electric vehicle chargers side by side for a total of four or one on each side, etc. And the retractor box will get bolted to that top bracket that we made earlier. So if you have two electric vehicle chargers, you would obviously need to install two of those retractor boxes. 
The retractor box, as his name implies, helps hold up the electric vehicle charge cord and keeps it more neatly stored. And then of course the holster is simply going to bolt to this narrow side plate here. I hope this short demonstration helps you. And just to give you a better detailed look at that bottom base plate and the cover for it, you can see our four screws, the mounting tabs, and the concrete anchors, and how this all goes together. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.